hi everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video i'm going to show you how to download and set up cursor ai on mac os to get started here i'm going to open a new instance of chrome browser let me expand this cursor ai i'll search cursor ai and then i'll click enter cursor ai is an ai powered integrated development environment for windows mac os and linux designed to enhance developer productivity by integrating advanced artificial intelligence features directly into the coding environment so cursor ai is an ide click on this first link that's a cursor ai for the free version of cursor ai we have a pro two-week trial 2000 completions 50 slow premium request with the pro version we have everything in hobby plus hobby plus is the free version and then we have unlimited completions 500 fast premium requests per month unlimited slow premium request and with the business version we have everything in pro version plus enforced privacy mode across your organization centralized dashboard with usage stats in terms of features because ai includes a powerful autocomplete that predicts your next edit once enabled it will suggest edits to your code across multiple lines taking into account your recent changes because ai also has a chat feature the chat feature lets you talk with an ai that sees your code base the chat can always see your current file and cursor so you can ask it things like is there a bug here you can add particular blocks of code to the context with command plus shift plus l or you can simply use the add symbol and you can chat with your entire code base with command plus enter so this is the chat feature for cursor ai you also have the agent feature for cursor ai the agent feature is found under composer cursor's agent mode can complete task end to end it does this quickly while keeping programmers in the loop these are some of the things that i wanted to show so now download cursor ai click this to come back to the main page so to download and install cursor AI on mac os go to cursor.com and then on the home page click on download for mac os you should download the dmg file after that we are going to open it and we'll run it okay to install applications on mac os the process is always very simple drag the cursor installer over to your application cursor is an app downloaded from the internet are you sure you want to open it always click open these are different ides cursor is asking me to select which coding editor i want to align my keyboard with so if you're used to using the keyboards that are customized for these ides select the one that apply i'm used to using the uh, visual studio code keyboard editor so i'm just going to leave it to default but if you're used to a different code editor like vim jetbrains emacs sublime atom you should select the one that applies to you default language is the english language if you're in another region that doesn't speak english you can specify it here compute embeddings for code base wide questions let me click here on details so that we can take a look in terms of code base indexing cursor allows you to semantically index your code base which allows it to answer questions with the context of all of your code as well as write better code by referencing existing implementations code base indexing is enabled by default but can be turned off during onboarding or in the settings when the code base indexing is enabled it scans the folder that you open in cursor and computes a markle tree of hashes of all files so files and subdirectories specified by git ignore or by cursor ignore are ignored the markle tree is then synced to the server every 10 minutes we check for hash mismatches and use the markle tree to figure out which files have changed and only upload those so this is to keep your your code and recent changes up to date at our server we can churn and embed the files and store the embeddings by obfuscating relative parts leave code base indexing on so to launch code base from the terminal we can simply type code or install code command plus cursor on this page i'm just going to leave everything as is and then i'm going to click continue if you have your vs code already set up with different extensions 
instantly import your extensions, settings, and key bindings from VS Code to make trying out Cursor simple. I'm going to choose to start from scratch help improve cursor AI. To make cursor better, this option lets us collect usage data. This includes questions in chat, code snippets, edits, and edit actions. You also have privacy mode. If you enable privacy mode, none of your questions or code will ever be stored by us or any third parties. I'll go with the privacy mode, but if you want to help improve cursor AI, you can select this option. So I'll go with privacy mode, and then I'll click continue you're all set it is important to have an account so that the cursor team will know who is using the account to avoid abuse on our back end we ask that you log in to use the ai features for now i'm going to sign up click sign up put in my email i'll put in my email and then i'll verify that i'm not a robot input the sign in code that was emailed to me log in to cursor desktop Please only log in if you just came from the cursor app. All set, feel free to return to cursor. Do you want to allow this website to open cursor? I'll always allow. Now we are going to go back, launch cursor. Let's say login. If you say login now, it should, it should log in and it should launch the cursor app. So here is the cursor IDE that we just install the interface is very simple you can open a project you can clone a repo or you can connect via ssh we're going to just open a project desktop and then i'm just going to create a new folder let me create a new folder and then i'll just call it cursor demo and then i'll click create and then click open cursor would like to access files to be able to write back to it so click allow you can see here that is opening up in the chat so here is the cursor chat feature so you can just chat with the interface with the code editor and tell it what you want it to do over here is where your code will be this is your interface for your code and then your code files and folders will be here there were a couple of features of cursor ai you have the chat feature you have the ai agent feature which is the composer here's the cursor demo that we just created within this cursor demo we can create different files let's just ask it to create a hello world program for us using python create a hello world program a simple hello world program to test if our installation works and then i can just say send so as you can see it is very simple it has written this basic line of code first let me create a basic python file do you want to install the recommended python extensions install i'll just install the recommended python extension so this is the the python extension used to write python this is a very popular extension this extension is used in vs code and in different code editors to write python code so it just went ahead and installed the python extension for us so that we can use it in our programs in the future we could also install different extensions by simply coming to this extensions tab this is your source control this is your search these are your different menus they are similar to visual studio code this thing was a copy of visual studio code as you can see here it has written a simple hello world program for us it has a defined a function called main and it is simply printing out hello world if name is equal to main return main Normally, when you're prompting, when you're prompting cursor to help you write code, accept the code that is suggested to you, or you can reject it. So in this case, I'm just going to say accept. I can stop it from generating by just clicking stop. In terms of the agent feature, so you have here the agent. So let me click on that agent feature. The agent feature is enabled. Agent feature is enabled, and then we can just click ask update the code above updating the code is is as easy as asking it what you want it to do it has updated the python code to say hello practical tech lessons if you want to apply this change to your code you simply click apply to hello world and now instead of saying hello world you will say hello practical tech lessons and then you accept 
And this is how easy it is to install and set up Cursor AI on Mac OS and to write your first program. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.